What's going on everybody? We're back for another video today. As you can see, we got a Mustang video for you. Uh, it's really coming down to the wire. The next couple weeks are gonna be absolutely crazy. We got the engine assembly, which I'm probably gonna film. I'm driving out to Ohio, uh, keep it at that. And then the following weekend, Drew, Dr. Drew's flying down and we're gonna put the bad boy in the Mustang finally. So it's gonna be an epic couple weeks. But today, as you can see, um, really hasn't changed too much. I just test fitted our new Mishimoto radiator right here, beautiful unit. But we got some gloss black paint over there. And basically what we're gonna do is scuff up this engine bay. Cause as you can see um, throughout the years, there's just been some uh, marks and scratches and all that and the paint's just really faded. So now that we wire tucked everything, I'll link that video up above. It really cleans up the entire engine bay, which it was pretty simple to do. I, I would recommend doing it if you have the time. Yeah, basically we're gonna scuff everything down with like 320 sand grip paper, uh, make sure it's all clean, we'll cover everything, bag it if we need to, plastic sheeting. We'll probably touch up the inside of the hood while we're in here and um, apply that gloss black paint and really make this engine bay shine. And then, you know, in a couple weeks we'll have the engine in, it's gonna look perfect. So without further ado, let's start bagging this up. All right, so as you guys can see behind me, Wes and I just went to town. This is some high quality prep work right here. A plus. A plus, top notch. If you guys need any paint work done, feel free to call us. We'll be here 24 seven. So uh, your boys. <laughs> don't actually take us serious on that because this is very bad, but uh, it's gonna do. It's the ratchet way. Yep. And um, no, yeah. really we're not going for absolute perfection. As you can see, we just toss a bunch of random sheeting and bags and tape everywhere, <laughs> but uh, it's going to clean it up enough to be, you know, when, when we pop the hood in the summer, you know, people will be like, damn, that's a nice little clean and you're engine also, bay. And don't forget, there's going to be a big hunk of beef right there. Yep. A nice engine, trans, turbo, and all that stuff. So the only really visible sides is really going to be the, the sidewalls here, that sidewall yeah. there. Mainly yeah. this sidewall we'll focus on because the intake will run over there. So. Yeah. And speaking of that, we removed the battery and stuff, so that's yeah. all just going to be a void. So we're definitely right. going to fixate a little bit more and give it a lot of attention to that side there. For sure. But, um, you know, we'll make it work. Yeah. We always do. So we'll try and touch up in the back as much as we can, but like Austin said, the engine will be in and everything else. You, you won't be able to see much besides these two panels, but we want to try and do it the best we can. Yeah, so now we're going to pretty much just kind of sand this down, clean up all the gunk and junk and bunk and runk and all that stuff. So uh, You named the rhyme. Yeah, it's the rhyme. So let's get to it. Before we get into sanding this and going to the paint, um, we just kind of want to get rid of all this grime and stuff in here. We got rid of a lot of it um, when we did the wire tuck video, but this car's just been sitting for a while and it's just building up dust and stuff. So we're gonna take some dish soap. You could use, you know, Dawn or whatever brand you want. 
And uh, we're just going to take some rags and kind of just clean it up before we start sanding it down just to get all that debris up out of the way. So we'll probably set you guys up on a time lapse. Wes and I will go ham on each side. We're running out of daylight here, unfortunately, so we're probably just going to be able to really um, scrub this clean, maybe start sanding it, but we're going to have to continue this video until the following day. And um, let's get at it. All right guys, we are back. We're actually gonna finally paint the Mustang. We got a beautiful day. Um, got our painting clothes on, ready to rock. Off camera real quick, we sanded down some spots that we missed that we could see. We took tack cloths and wiped everything down so it's really, really smooth like a baby's butt. And we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna get some uh, gloss black down and I think it's gonna look great. So we're gonna wing it and let's get into it. So as you guys just saw in that time lapse, we're pretty much done. We applied two coats of this uh, engine bay. We waited the 20 minutes or so in between, like it says. But I think we're actually not going to end up clearing this. This is a gloss black paint, so I think we're going to bypass the clear. Um, we'll just kind of let this cure, let it dry overnight, and we'll see the finished result. So let's just take a quick look. Nothing's cured, nothing's really dry yet. We could take a look at our work. Um, it's not perfect, but then again, a lot of this is not going to be seen. The only really primary seen areas is this here, that there, the strut tower, which is actually came out pretty damn good. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed with, you know, how a couple dollar rattle can did. You know, yeah, it's not no, a professional. I'm impressed as well. It's going to look just fine. And we opted to do up here too. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a cover here or that overflow tank or what the case is, but I figured while we're painting, get that nice and clean because I was pretty scuffed up, so looks pretty good in my opinion. So I think with the engine in and all the components together, it's going to tie together really well overall. Yeah, so uh, pretty much we're going to let this dry a little bit longer and then we'll go ahead and remove some of this off. 
and uh, see what we missed. Hopefully we didn't miss anything, but do some touch-ups if need be. Now we're gonna make our way over to the hood. We sanded that down because we took away that um, little heat shield on the underside of the hood. And we're just gonna paint it black just to kind of make it all flow nice to, you know, together and whatnot. Yeah, because it was kind of faded white and since it was covered for years and years, so. Yeah, so we'll pretty much just do the same thing we did over there and just get at it. So we just went ahead, as you guys saw, and removed all that um, prep work. And overall, it came out pretty damn good. I mean, I'm pretty stoked with it. I think, Wes, you're, you're pretty stoked with it, too. I'm very stoked for Rattle Cannon. Today. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to um, touch up some spots. We'll do that off camera. But as you can see here, this little strut tower, since we're kind of we're not deleting the AC, we kind of don't want to fool with this too much. So we'll just go ahead and touch that up off camera. But overall, I mean, there's some spots, but, you know, it came out very well. I'm pleased with it. He's pleased with it. A lot of it's not going to be seen, like I said. So we don't, For we're a not peace of mind, really. Yeah, exactly, because it's all scuffed up and stuff. And we went ahead and did the, the hood. We're going to have to do another coat on that, but like I said, we're out of paint. So we're going to pretty much wrap today's video up just to kind of get you guys up out of here. And if you guys need any paint work, be sure to call us because we'll leave your engine bay looking nice and patchy like this over here mm -hmm. and um you know but nice in some areas yeah yeah but nice in the majority of the you yep. know the surface area but overall no i'm just kidding we're not painters this is just for fun just to provide you guys with entertainment and um we hope you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and soon enough this engine will be back in this car and we'll be putting down some heavy numbers on the track which we can't wait to do as well and we'll see you in the next one peace